All right, so before I start, you will obviously find all the links in the right order in the description of this video. Uh, we will start with the content manager itself, which you can find under this URL. As I said, just click on the link. A installation could not be easier since there isn't really an installation itself. So we just download the file, which we'll do right now. And then we will go here. This is latest. This is the content manager extract it and you don't really have to install it you just have to copy it somewhere wherever you want in my case i think i have it here on d i've created a folder you can name that whatever you want it doesn't really matter and you just copy the files in there and that's it so in my case i've also added a little shortcut here uh, you do that by holding the right mouse button on the file and let it go and then you click this create shortcut here i've already done that so i don't have to do that then we open the content manager itself so you just click on the x so usually when it first starts it asks you where your set of cores installation is uh, you will get a little menu that pops up it usually finds it on its own um, if it doesn't, uh, you have to find it manually. If you don't know where your Assetto Corsa uh, installation is, there's a pretty easy way to find that out. You just go here, right click, manage, browse local files, and then uh, it will pop up. And this is basically your install location. You will see that this path here is the exact same path that you see here so if you don't know where it is you can just check that through steam and that is it Con uh, the content manager is installed there's nothing else that you have to do um, before we go to the setup of the whole thing we will install all the rest of the components that we still need and the next one is the custom shaders patch very very important because this enables all kinds of good stuff check out the screenshots here on the right uh, it truly transforms ac into another game so all you have to do is download the recommended version you click here you can also download the latest version the difference between these two is the recommended version is known to be a stable version everything works it doesn't maybe have the latest features and all the welts and whistles uh also welts and whistles all the bells and whistles that was a nice one uh but it is known to be a stable patch so that is why they have one recommended version but you can also download the latest versions if you want to or you can download all the other versions in between as you can see there are quite a few uh, versions in between 1.60 and 1.75 and there are all listed here with a short description buggy untested etc so we have downloaded this now so we will go back to my downloads folder so and here we have the file all we have to do to install it is drag and drop it here these three lines will turn green you will see or oh, there's something ready to install update for custom shaders patch you click on install and that's it i already have a later version um installed which i will tell you about in a second and you can already see that here um I think you can probably already do the installation right out of the gate here out of the software of the content manager just click on settings CSP here and just check for updates and click on the latest version and it will automatically install but I don't remember how it was when I first installed the content manager so I wanted to uh, show you the um, yeah, the manual way, so to speak, um, the out of software way, you can download it from race department or from uh, not from race department, the site that I linked and just drag and drop it into the software and that will work as well. Uh, again, the other way is to go to settings, custom shaders patch, and you will see the available versions here, including all the patch notes of each version, by the way. Uh, you will notice that I'm running a slightly different version that is called uh, 0.1.76 Preview. And the Preview version enables one great feature that the regular version doesn't have. Not the latest version or the recommended version. And let me quickly show you what that looks like. And that is 
the weather and I mean the visual representation of rain in the game. You do get weather uh, with a custom shaders patch or rather with a soul patch that we will install next um, but you do not get the rain effects like that. So take a look at this. This looks pretty damn spectacular I think and those are the rain effects uh, that I'm talking about um, in order to get them what you have to do and these are beautiful by the way the track gets wet the car gets wet it's just so detailed and there's so much attention to detail in these effects uh, what you have to do is you have to go to the patreon page of the creator of the content manager and support him there and you will get access to these preview builds uh, you will see here another update preview with fixes and a few new features was released just a few weeks ago on the 21st of September and he's always very very detailed and meticulous about his updates it's not just a little hey here's another bone for you he really cares about this and you can tell and you can download these preview patches right here and uh, that will enable whether i can highly recommend to, um, to support uh, Ilya on uh, patreon because not only does the content manager itself deserve it it's a great tool that makes ac so much better but the rain effects themselves they're worth it in my opinion at least so i will link um that page here in the description as well and next up we have soul 2.1.3 that is uh, the weather package where you get the sky boxes and all that good stuff and it says here right at the top please notice soul does not bring rain into ac uh custom shade dispatch is doing this actual actually rain effects is in development rain effects previews are available available at Ilya yusupov's patron account that's what i was just talking about and you saw the rain effects um a minute or so ago so you click on down Download on this site which I um, also obviously will link in the description if you're not a member of race department you can change that for free you will have to have account to download files but they don't send you any spam or ads uh, it's just a very um, stress-free subscription so to speak doesn't cost anything uh, then you will be able to download tracks and cars and add-ons for a set of Corsa just like Soul and here it is <clears throat> in the downloads actually it will take a few seconds to download uh, let me see if I can find the old version that I've already downloaded somewhere down here there it is Sol 2.1.3 we will use that one instead so all you have to do that is the beauty of content manager just drag and drop it and you will see the three little lines turn green it says sol 2.1.3 zip install uh, it doesn't matter i can reinstall it it will just install over the patch that i already had show file you can open it up here if you're not sure what did i install just now because you can uh, use several files and just throw them in there which is extremely useful if you want to install a huge car pack that is packed into a zip file you don't have to extract it and install every single car manually by dragging and dropping it in Windows Explorer you can just take the zip file with 20 cars throw it in there and it will install it one by one uh, so really really cool but before we do that we want to look at reshade uh, which is very important to achieve our goal of the highest bar of visual quality in Assetto Corsa. Um, I will link this site in the description as well, of course. Uh, I'm not sure if this download links to the same download, but I usually <laughs> just scroll down here and download Reshade 4.9.1. Um, again, I've already downloaded it. Come on. All we have to do is run the exim. Click here to select the game to manage uh, reshade with and you will see that it scans your PC, uh, all your hard drives and will basically show you every, every single game that you have installed that could be used with reshade. Uh, in my case I've already installed it with ACS uh, so for demonstration purposes I will just use AMS. In this case you selected application. Uh, this is a DirectX 10 game. 
and here I just check all so we have all the effect packages to install doesn't mean that we will use them all but it's good to have the option to do so and then you say okay that's pretty much it now reshade will install itself in the game directory and we will go over how to access all these effects in game uh, in just a second and now we have installed content manager we've installed csp we hopefully went to Ilya's patron page and supported him there so we get the preview version of the custom shaders patch with the rain effects we've downloaded soul and installed that so now our content manager is ready to go we can uh, start to get into the nitty-gritty details and this is the amazing content creator on YouTube where I got my idea uh, to um, keep or not my idea uh, I, I have to start the other way around I've tried so many post-processing filters and settings and even reshape profiles and different settings again and I never really got the setting where I thought all right this runs decently this looks great i'm happy with this until i saw this video from uh this youtube channel which i will link in the description as well and i have to say uh, thank uh Saket yoshi um for this because he linked me um this video not this actually another video from the same channel uh, on twitter and i thought holy crap that looks amazing actually let me show that to you this does look pretty much like a video so see for yourself guys isn't that amazing of course you have the tv effect the slight is it even a fisheye lens but it looks very very real when it comes to the lighting and the colors and i i, I was just amazed so i thought all right those are the settings that I want to use and ultra graphics reshade the channel is so nice to provide all kinds of interesting links down here so soul and post processing filter uh, leads us directly to soul 2.1.3 we already have installed that we don't need that reshade preset now that is where things get interesting create download link you know the deal you close the ad and you wait a few seconds and then uh it should start in two seconds and it will start and there it is and you wait so i've already downloaded that uh, a couple of days ago when i first installed this so you just unzip the file and there is your preset that is your file the ini if you open that you get all kinds of different parameters and look at how much stuff there is my mouse wheel is broken which is why i have to scroll like this but i mean just check this out there's so much in there and instead of pasting and copying all this manually you just get the the preset and it uh, makes life a whole lot easier so let me show you how to apply that in game after we're in game we just press pause one on the numpad uh, actually it's the little six keys above the arrow keys and all you have to do you can see i already have reshade tv applied is go here click on that and you get a drop down menu menu and in my case i wasn't able to go to another hard drive it, i so i copied my uh, reshadetv.ini uh, in a folder that I call temp files for the extra mile files AC reshade profile and dropped it in there now we can exit Assetto Corsa because there are two more profiles that we have to load but we're almost done now uh, my settings custom shaders patch so and here is another awesome thing about the content manager now you would expect that you download another profile and put it in a folder and then it will show up in the content manager uh, probably right here as a profile that you can load but it's even easier than that check this out you click this link and it asks you okay um, which app should I open this with content manager open link and there it is 
it's directly imported into the custom shaders patch. You don't have to do anything else. You can apply it immediately. You can just save it. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I've already installed it. It looks like this. Uh, I've actually downloaded it two times by mistake. And uh, all I would have to do is go click on this. You can see a slight change here. I've uh, adjusted a few little things like the resolution as well. And I made a new pre preset out of that, which I called Photo 2. And there we are back again. So it's the same, it's the same story for the uh, custom shaders patch settings, which are all of these, all of these. And it's the same story for the video settings, which are these. And they are just resolution, um, detail, world detail, car detail, uh, shadow resolution, reflections, etc. And custom shaders patch goes into a lot more detail. One thing that I would recommend to do, uh, which he recommends as well, if we go into the screenshots, which I think I've downloaded as well. So this is one of the screenshots that he shared separately um, and he circled these two parts. So this was not active on the profile that he shared. I'm not quite sure why that is. So if you go to graphic adjustments, uh, I definitely recommend to activate that. There are no downsides. Just put it to ultra quality. You will no, not see a visual difference and the game just runs a little bit faster. And he recommends uh, this post-processing anti-aliasing mode right here. CM MAA, not CWM, 2.0 for Intel, quality high, extra sharp, etc. And the other screen that he shared was this VHS style filter with overlay. Now, I actually, I don't think that I've managed to activate that overlay. I think it is not on automatically because if you have seen the rain effects video or the little clip that I shared let's just load it up again it doesn't look like there is any VHS effect on there which I I think for for driving is great uh, but for replay purposes it might be cool to have that but honestly I don't miss anything the way it looks now I mean it, it, it I mean just look at that it's 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 pretty spectacular, I think. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not quite sure what the VHS filter is. Anyway, I think we are at the end of the line. Yes, that is it. So now you have everything that you need, basically, to run the game. You have all the software that you need. You have the content manager, you have the custom shaders patch, uh, you hopefully have the preview version of CSP by donating to Ilya on his Patreon page, you have Sol, uh, you have Reshade installed, you have loaded up the Reshade profile and you've loaded up um, the CSP and visual settings profile from, let me open it up, from this awesome video from Ultra Graphics Reshade. Again, I will link all of this in the description below. And I hope to cut this together in a relatively short and understandable manner. And uh, this is pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy these settings. Please let me know if you find something that can be improved on this, be it uh, the visual quality or um, maybe a setting that achieves the same level of visual quality but uh, saves some performance. Um, if you find anything like that, please let me know. I'm always happy to find uh, tips to improve um, what a set of Corsa looks like and feels like. Anyway, guys, this is it. This is my short how-to, I hope short, uh, how-to video. And I hope you have fun with it. And I will see you in the next episode on Friday. Bye-bye, guys.